Hello, I'm Elena Bertozzi. I'm a physiotherapist specializing in pelvic floor rehabilitation. I'm author of several scientific articles, university professor training. Um, I will wait to um, tell you about the treatment of very um, pelvic dysfunction with oxygen therapy. Hi, we're talking about uh, lichen sclerosis, a new treatment with oxygen therapy and a hyaluronic acid. Do you know what is uh, vulvar lichen? It's a particular dermatological uh, pathology of uh, uh, genital, external genital, in particular for the woman. Uh, the literature tells us that this pathology is um, for um, woman after menopausal. In uh, really, in my experience, I see in my clinic uh, many young women. And uh, I think that is very important for, uh, for us, for us professional, that um, we look every day, the, the woman, uh, observe very good the genital, because the lichen uh, isn't only for the menopausal woman. The most important symptoms are pain and itching, in particular, itching during the night. This is a, a most, impo most important question that we do uh, to our patients. The real very uh, important diagnosis is with biopsy, but I think that the observation of the genitalia of our patient is very important because we can uh, see uh, the modification of the labia minora, uh, the clitoris, and the um, enter of vaginal um, ingress. Um, the most important things is the symptoms that our patient tell us. The lichen, the lichen um, you can look in this, um, this is my patient uh, picture, um, make a transformation of um, genital, external genital, uh, labia uh, minora, the clitoris. Um, the first patient is a very young woman, uh, 23 years old after uh, pregnant. And the, for the first time, um, I look with attention um, her genital and I see that she haven't a uh, labia minora. And after I do a bi biopsy with, uh, with my, my medical gynecologist association, and um, we, we show that this young woman have a, a lichen. And it's very important observation, the genital, the changes of the clitoris, the labia minora, and the, the symptoms, in particular, the itching. You can notice that uh, in the second picture, uh, the skin becomes stiff and dry. Uh, she is my patient. Uh, she has uh, 60 uh, years old. Um, she has a um, um, burn um, in the vestibulo. The lips become progressively thinner. The vagina enters narrow. In this condition, repeated attempts of at the penetration causes the formation of micro abrasion, which in the long run can lead to vulvar vestibulitis. Everything is then aggravated if the woman following menopause has an antidote deficiency of estrogen and testosterone. Therapies to date. Now we can have uh, many, many types of treatment for, for lichen. For example, um, emollients, uh, cortisone, but uh, 
not for uh, for many months, but uh, in the um, uh, acute phase for uh, two or three months. Uh, topical immunomodulators, uh, regener regenerative intervention with the PRP and lipofilling. Uh, we can use a physiotherapist with manipulation with uh, dilatator and the physiotherapist with uh, uh, a new um, electromedical like laser and radiofrequency. But we decide to introduce in this uh, uh, pathology a new therapy, the treatment of symptoms and lesions. We decide to introduce in this pathology a new therapy for the treatment of symptoms and lesions. For treat this pathology is very important the team, the medical team uh, that is dermatologist, gynecologist, plastic surgeon, physiotherapist of the pelvic floor, nutrition as and um, physical therapist. Our goal uh, in this pathology is absolutely reduction symptoms like itching, burning, irritation, and dryness. But uh, I have very uh, young woman with this pathology, and for me, it's very important um, treat the dyspareunia. We know that this uh, pathology is chronic, and we can. Uh, resolve definitely this pathology, but we can treat the symptoms. At the suit in uh, 2021, I proposed a treatment for um, uh, lichen symptoms and lesions with oxygen therapy. The therapeutic goal of treating the signs of lichen is to improve functions, symptoms such as burning, itching, and modification of the external genitalia, such as hooding of the clitoris and thinking team of the vaginal enkissement. For us, it's very important three items in this study functional, qualitative, and symptoms. The protocol proposed in this study, the importance of the physiotherapist and physiokinesi therapist during the treatment, because for implementing the functional of the intravaginal, for example, is very important made a perineal massage, like in this my study published in uh, 2019. We know that physiotherapy is very good for lichen vulvar, in particular for the functionality. In this new study, we add the physiotherapy with oxygen therapy. The oxygen therapy is important for this pathology because improve trophism, tissue quality, and repair of tissue damage. We know the symptoms of lichen, burning, itches, dyspareunia, but we know too the benefit of oxygen and hyaluronic acid. For this re reason, we decide to introduce this therapy for this pathology. We know uh, that oxygen therapy is very good, for example, for atrophy in menopausal women. We know this is more good for the um, lubrification for for itches and burning 
And for the same reason, we decided to use this treatment with oxygen for lichen pathology because the symptoms are very similar. This is my study. I have 25 women and I do five treatments, one a week, with the oxygen therapy, Caras Floor device. And you can show that I use vulvar oxygen therapy and vaginal oxygen therapy because you know that lichen is a pathology of the vulva but the women that have this pathology have two vaginal problem vaginal symptoms we do 10 minutes of vulvar oxygen therapy because the most symptoms are external and after five minutes in the second phases five minutes of vaginal oxygen always we use hyaluronic acid this is my patient at the beginning of therapy with oxygen. In this study, we evaluated the pain, itching, and burning with vast scale. And after five sessions of treatment, we evaluated the same items. You can, uh, you can see the, the lesion, the inflammation, uh, the burning of this situation at the beginning. You can show you the results of this study. Uh, in general, the quality improvement of the tissue. But I tell you that the quality of life of my patient is very improved. Another thing that is very important for me and for my patient too is the repair of the lesion. And in the most part uh, of my patient, these lesions are repaired. You can show before and after. The tissue is more, more good. The lesion is repaired. And if the lesion is repaired, the patient haven't burning and itching. We know that lichen have chronic disease. In this treatment, it's very important the domestic follow-up. Your doctor or your physiotherapy after the treatment with oxygen explain you how you do at home. Hydratation, for example, training in the use of suitable products, hygienic training, external and perineal massage and stretching. And after, uh, after three or four months, you come back to your doctor and to decide with, with him if made another treatment with oxygen, for example, or when you need, if you have two symptoms like burning or itching, you can repeat this treatment with oxygen. In support at home, you can use this dispositive, this instrument this uh, dilatator because you, we know that lichen modification the anatomy of external genitalia 
this is my experience with this treatment. I use oxygen therapy every day, not only for lichen, but for many pathology. I'm very happy to this treatment because I haven't collateral effect, but I have very good results. My patients are very happy. In these three years of clinical practice, I use oxygen therapy for lichen, and I'm happy for the results to my patients. And I use this treatment for the other uh, pelvic pathology.